The McDonnell Douglas MD-11 is a wide-body trijet airliner developed by McDonnell Douglas as a follow-up to the DC-10. Officially launched in December 1986, the MD-11 retained the basic trijet layout but introduced a longer fuselage, updated engines, and advanced avionics. Assembly began in March 1988, and its first flight occurred on January 10, 1990. The MD-11 received FAA certification in November 1990, with its first delivery to Finnair the following month. It entered service on December 20, 1990. With a wingspan slightly larger than the DC's 10, the MD-11 included winglets for improved fuel efficiency and increased its maximum takeoff weight to 630,500 pounds. The fuselage was stretched to seat up to 298 passengers in three classes, with a maximum range of 7,130 nautical miles. The cockpit was modernized with a glass design, allowing for a two-pilot crew and eliminating the need for a flight engineer. Despite these advancements, the MD-11 initially struggled to meet its fuel efficiency and range targets, which impacted sales. Competing twin jets like the Boeing 767, Airbus A330, and Boeing 777 offered more efficient alternatives, further challenging the MD-11's market appeal. McDonnell Douglas's financial difficulties limited further development of the aircraft, and after its merger with Boeing in 1997, the program was phased out. The final MD-11 rolled off the production line in October 2000, with 200 units produced, including passenger, freighter, and combi variants. The MD-11 found a second life as a freighter, with many passenger models converted for cargo operations. Today, it remains a workhorse for several cargo airlines, though its passenger service officially ended in 2014 with KLM's retirement of the type. Notable operators of the freighter version include FedEx and UPS, while a handful of MD-11s continue to serve in specialized roles. While praised for its innovative design, the MD-11 faced safety challenges during its operational history. Early performance issues, such as control system flaws, contributed to multiple accidents. Updates to flight control software and operational procedures eventually improved its reputation, but these challenges marked its early years. The MD-11 represents a transitional period in commercial aviation, bridging the gap between earlier trijets like the DC-10 and modern twin-engine widebodies. Though its production was short-lived, the aircraft remains a significant chapter in the evolution of long-haul airliners.